Hey folks, let's dive into learning these practical tricks. 3 Methods for Alternating Rows Zebra Striping in a Table 3 Methods for Alternating Rows in a Table Simple Click and Format Method Click somewhere within the table. Use the keyboard shortcut Ctrl T to convert the data into a table. From the Table Tools Design tab, choose a style that suits your preference. In this method, adding new rows anywhere in the table won't cause any issues, and the formatting will remain consistent. Conditional Formatting Method Click somewhere within the table. Press Ctrl A to select the entire data range. Go to the Conditional Formatting option and click New Rule. Choose the Use a Formula to determine which cells to format option. Enter the formula equal is even open parentheses row open parentheses and close both of. Select a fill color from the format section. This will color all even numbered rows as per your chosen color. To color odd numbered rows, follow the same steps. Equal is odd open parentheses row open parentheses and close both of. For change header have edit rules. For example, you can change cell A1 to A2 to prevent the header row from inheriting the style. In this method, adding new rows won't disrupt the formatting. For managing and deleting rules, use the Manage Rules option to handle and delete rules. Using Format Painter, style the first two rows. Select both of the rows below of the header. Double click the Format Painter icon. Drag over the other rows to apply the same style. Click the Format Painter icon again to exit selection mode. Note that after adding a new row, you'll need to reapply the style to maintain consistency. I hope you find these tricks useful. If this tutorial was helpful, please like the video and share it with your Excel savvy friends and colleagues. And if you're interested, consider subscribing to the channel.